Oh, it's so warm in Thailand today. I'm still indoors, heavy wind storm out there. Wife's at work in the shop. Number seven. Threesomes happened. Hans has watched his new girlfriend have aerobics with a tomboy named Leia. Money is starting to arrive in his banks. It's time to go shopping. Out they go, breakfast at home, jump in her beaten up old car, and they're off to the malls. Over the next two days, and it's coming up for a week by the time this finishes, next two days, he buys an expensive leather, leather, four piece leather suite, 45,000 baht. He buys a fridge. He buys a 50, 60 inch TV. A TV furniture stand thing. He orders true satellite for the house. <laughs> uh, TV, fridge, sofa. They've got the bedroom set up. A nice wooden table and chairs for outside. A nice dining room table and chairs for inside. And the list goes on. All the household stuff. Pots, pans, completely kitting the house out. Remember we said he thought they were going to spend about 125,000 baht. No, 200,000 baht. Around two days, different department stores. We jump on to the next day, starts getting Things started getting delivered. This must be around day seven. Things are starting to get delivered. She's organized a gardener, 2,000 baht a month, which seems a lot, 500 baht a week. It's only a small garden, but he doesn't question that. A week in Thailand, his house is now being kitted out. He's got internet sorted. He can um, the house is done. Things start arriving. Gretel doesn't mention the threesome. It's Saturday night, Saturday afternoon. Everything's falling into place. And Gretel says to Hans, gotta meet my sister, come on. We go out for a meal, we'll meet my sister. She looks a bit like me, but she's not like me. It's different temperament, but lovely. He says, yeah, I'm great. I'm looking forward to meeting your sister. What's her name? She says, well, she's got a bit of a strange name. It's Griwok. Griwok? Yeah, that's unusual. Anyway, end of the day. Everything's been delivered that's going to be delivered for the day. He said, right, come on. We're going to go down by the river in Kanchanaburi and we're going to uh, meet the sister. Okay. Gree walk. Jump in the car, head off. Nice little restaurant down near the river. They're there first. Gree walk hasn't arrived. Um, they should get a drink. At this point, he's still not driving in Thailand, hasn't driven in Thailand yet. Although he's got his international German license for driving abroad. Griewok arrives, walks in, and Hans looks at her and thinks, apart from her hair up, she looks the same as you. She's like almost a twin. And Gretel said, yeah, she's not quite a twin, but a different personality. She doesn't speak much English. No German. Just Thai. Okay, and she comes in and she says hello and sits down. It's on her own. He says if she got not got a boyfriend or partner, and it's like, no, no, no. And he keeps looking at her. She looks very similar, but 
different hair. Well, the hair's, hair's tied up, so I can't tell if it's the same. Couldn't really speak much to her because she's only really Thai speaking, but smiled a lot, ate food. Gretel seems to be enjoying herself. I had a lovely meal. End of the night, shook <laughs> hands, shook hands with Griwok, said goodbye. Him and Gretel head home. Met the sister, done the shopping, kitted the house out. Brilliant. A week in Thailand, what a week. Threesome, new furniture, new girlfriend, new girlfriend's girlfriend. Ha! It's just perfect, this, this Gretel. She's a diamond, she's a diamond. Maybe you can come to Thailand and meet a woman like Gretel. Takes care of everything, she's methodical. Good looking lady. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. A few more days pass, the house is coming together, stuff's all there being delivered. They're starting to settle down. And Gretel says to Hans, Hans, we've got a slight problem. And he said, Okay, what's that, my darling? He said, my sister needs the car back. It's not my car. She's with her job at the bank. She's got to do some work at another bank. So she needs to travel between the two. She needs the car back. He says, okay. How are we going to get around? And he, she says, well, what do you want to do? Do you, you know, you like in Thailand? You like in me? You've only been here a week. How are you feeling? And Hans is, it's amazing. It's everything I thought it would be and more. The food's great, people lovely. A bit hot, but it's okay. She says, are we going to explore Thailand together? Do you think you can see us going around and trying different areas out and holidaying? And he says, I'd love that. He says, I used to have motorcycles in Germany always have BMW motorcycles. I would like a motorcycle. Um, but I'm getting a bit on now, so on a bit in life. It's probably time for me to get a smaller motorcycle, maybe 300cc. I've been looking when I was in Germany at what was in Asia. Love bikes. Huh. Those guys love bikes. He already knew what he wanted. A Honda 300 Forza. <laughs> bike I've been looking at as well. He said, it's quite expensive though, it's nearly 200,000 baht, nearly 5,000 euros. He said, but I don't know if you like bikes. And, and Gretel said, I don't mind them, but they scare me a bit. I really would prefer a car. She says, well, we have a choice. She said, if you pay the deposit, I'll get a car on finance, and then you can pay the the monthly repayments or we can buy a second hand car for cash and he said I don't like finance and loans can we go and look at cars let's look at different types of cars and see what's about what the money is he said I have no idea of the costs maybe you have an idea and she said yeah you 200,000 baht you can get a, a second hand car um, a bit old but it, it would be okay and they agreed yeah okay let's go and look at cars so today's the car day they went round three or four second-hand dealerships I soon realized that the price is quite high but they will do deals Hans prefers a type of four-wheel drive car, um, either a pickup truck or an SUV type. And Gretel's fine with either. They, they sort of start talking, would we use a pickup truck 
if you had like a four door pickup truck um, and would we put stuff in the back and it's like not really so they start edging towards SUVs and uh, there's quite a few out there on the on the market Gretel keeps back and doesn't push Hans actually likes the um, he likes the Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi Pajeros and there's quite a few of those now coincidental Gretel says to Hans I know somebody who's got one of those Mitsubishi Pajeros for sale it's about five six years old and I think it's cheap looking at the ones you've seen here they're like 900,000 bars and he said yeah it's a lot of money she says I think my friend's selling theirs for 700 shall I ring them and maybe we have a look of course he says and she goes da 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 phone talks in Thai puts phone we can see it but not till tomorrow morning he said let's let's go now home and tomorrow morning hmm ah <sighs> bike no car but he is German on a non-immigrant O visa he's not really registered on the property as such or he might be might not be can't see this car going in his name somehow next day comes uh, a boy turns up to the house with this car they come out look at it it's a Mitsubishi Pajero and looks lovely and clean um, brilliant white the guy gives the keys to Gretel Gretel gives the keys to Hans she says come on let's go and test drive it you drive and he's like well I've not driven here and she says, that's okay you've got to learn you drive back in Germany yes yeah yeah come on then so he gets in this car he configures the seat and everything and he's quite nervous but he f loves the feel of the car the seat he said this is beautiful high up it's got all these seats stuff to move things around it's brilliant automatic big engine three liter engine come on then off they go he drives off slowly cagey where they are it's quite quiet in Canchonabri for um, for traffic they live sort of a bit outside of it off down there and he gets the hangar driving pretty quick they go out for about 20 minutes come back they stop at the other end she gets in and drives it back loves it get back the guy's there and uh, Gretel said 700 and says well okay we've got the money it's a big outlay but we're not bought a house so we could probably afford the car um, he says okay we'll do it she says all we need to do is transfer the money from your bank to um, this girl's bank and the car's ours he says well well that's easy I said yep yeah, we can do it now and this guy will leave the car here and all the paperwork is in the glove box and I'll get it put transferred the name she doesn't mention his name her name anything she talks to this Thai guy off the guy walks goes in the house gets on his laptop bum 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 puts in the account details transfer done from his Grung C bank to this Thai girl can't read her name it's all in Thai she gets on the phone da 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 yep 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 bang that's it car's ours and there's still three months left on their insurance which is transferred to our name well it's on the car so it doesn't need to be the car needs to be transferred she said I'll sort that out next couple of days it's taxed MOT ready to go it's 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 your car your car a week in Thailand he owns a second-hand car 
that is 700,000 baht, but the number plate, paperwork, he hasn't checked. I'm sure Gressel said it was five years old, but on me seeing that car, I would say it's seven years old and valued a bit lower, maybe 400,000 baht. Make a note of that. He's got a car. He's been here a week. A couple of hundred thousand baht furniture. 700,000 baht car. That's a million baht gone. A million baht in the Thai bank account. In the Thai writing you can't even read. And he's going quick. So quick the money. A week. He spent over a million baht already. Hmm. What can go wrong? Nothing. This could well be a happy ending story. <laughs> and just as a tease, I have seen pants in the last month and he is still breathing. See you soon. Bye bye for now.